What's up everyone, my name is Trevor and I am the Gaming Goomba and, and welcome, welcome to, to Goomtober! Growing up, one of my favorite shows to get me in the spooky spirit was Goosebumps. And would you believe me if I told you the show gets worse every year? While the books were a great way to get young kids invested into reading, the TV show was a different story. I swear, 10 years ago I wouldn't even be able to sleep after watching Night of the Living Dummy 3. But now, I just laugh at how ridiculous Hayden Christensen is. So, you don't have to worry about that old cow. Died. Oh, well, that's good. But there is one episode that never sat quite right with me, and that's Say Cheese and Die again. Or as I like to call it, Fat Shaming the Movie. Let's take a look. You want to play with the camera? Here, let me show you how it's done. <laughs> Say Cheese! <laughs> Don't take a picture of my hair, it's so 90s! In this episode, we meet back up with Greg from the first book, who after living the terrifying events, is trying to write his report on it in his English class, and his teacher wants to fail him because he doesn't believe the story is true. A camera that always predicts a horrible future. Very intriguing. Does that mean I get an A? No, that means you get an F. <laughs> For some reason, I feel like this guy's gonna be the high point of this episode. But, but Mr. Sauer, you said it was intriguing. How can you give me an F? The assignment was for a true story that changed your life, not a tall tale. So Greg returns to the building that he originally found the camera in to prove that he's telling the What's truth, this? only to find that the building is destroyed and has been sold. Spider! Greg, how is screaming this guy's name at the top of your lungs going to solve anything? Aren't you supposed to be sneaking around there? This isn't a place you're supposed to be. Why would you do that? Oh shit, I wouldn't go down there if I were you, it might be Batman. So Greg eventually retrieves the camera, only to be found by some random dude that has absolutely nothing to do with anything. Give it to me now. What the heck? Since when does anybody react to a camera flash like that? The next day, Greg's friend Sherry, who knows about the evil camera's powers, discovers that he has his hands on it once again. Look, you don't understand. No, you look. That camera is evil, remember? We had a pact never to touch it again. Take it home now, and put it back after school. You can't tell me what to do. It's my grade. Don't you remember how dangerous that camera is? All the horrible things it did? It made me disappear. It even made my acting horrible too. I gotta get to school. I'm not letting you go. Listen, Sherry, I think you're overreacting. The only thing you have to do is not take any pictures, let Greg get an A on his report, return the camera where you found it, and move on with your lives. Just don't do anything stupid. Get out of my way. Get the camera. No! Give it to me! And you did something stupid. You just got done telling Greg how dangerous the camera is, so you proceed to play tug of war with it? Look what you did! I'm sorry, it was an accident. Maybe this time it won't be something bad. I want to disappear again! What's gonna happen? Nothing. It's just a negative of you. I think you're okay. The camera must be broken. Yes. Are you nuts? Well, if it's broken, you wouldn't mind me taking your picture. It's not funny! Give it to me! No! I'm fat! That's offensive. What's happening? No! 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 Oh! no! Just so you know, creators of Goose Wants, I was just able to replicate your effect by putting cotton balls in my mouth. <laughs> Seriously, who approved this? Who in that editing room looked at this and thought that it looked okay? You could've just hired a real fat kid and gave him the same stupid haircut. It would've looked a million times better. What are you doing in this grotesque costume? Get rid of this padding. It's not a costume. It's the evil camera. It made me fat. We've had enough of this grotesque little joke. Now sit down. Joke? You just saw his belly fat. And by the way, you just pulled up a kid's shirt in a public school. I'm pretty sure that automatically makes you a registered sex offender. We've got to do so something. basically, Greg is getting so fat that he Maybe might explode, and Sherry is getting so thin that she might disappear. Got it? Good. Uh oh, I'm getting that feeling. Oh. <sighs> I think you just lost another pound. How did losing one pound make her entire jacket fall off? Didn't she have her arms in the sleeves? I don't care. Greg believes that turning the original photos from a positive to a negative and a negative to a positive might reverse the effect. Sounds like a long shot, but whatever. 
Greg's brother also conveniently happens to work at a photo store, so that's cool, I guess. Who's this? This used to be your brother. Pause. Why is Sherry gray? I understand she's getting thinner, but does that mean she has to turn into a zombie too? I'm thinking way too hard into goosebumps. So Greg's brother changes the pictures and rushes back to see if they're all right. Greg, Sherry. Greg. <laughs> it, it worked. Mm -hmm. It worked. <laughs> Could you imagine what Greg's brother would have walked in on if it didn't work? Greg, Sherry. Greg. The next day, Greg brings the camera to class to secure his A, and what do you know, the teacher still doesn't believe him. Well, Mr. Sauer? Well, what? Do I get an A now? No, you get an F. What? Anybody can come in here with a silly contraption and say that it has fantastic powers. You haven't proven anything. But I was a blimp. Now I'm thin. How do you explain that? The costume. I knew it all along. I have seen many young shirtless fat boys in my time. Trust me, I know a faker when I see one. Of course, the teacher gets what's coming to him after his picture was taken with the camera. Seriously, I hope this guy got an Emmy. And that's gonna wrap up Say Cheese and Die again. Definitely one of the weakest episodes in the entire Goosebumps series. And I don't think it helps that the concept of getting fat isn't really that scary. Especially for guys like me who have already been fat before. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you missed last week's episode, you can click right here on the screen to check that out. We've also got brand new Facebook and Twitter pages. The usernames are right here on the screen, and the links will also be in the description below. And if you haven't subscribed already, please make sure you do so on your way out, and I hope I'll see you guys next week.